People, it's your boy, I'm Mr. Flight Academy Kicks, aka Flex Luger, aka Pastor Flight, aka uh, Kicks Ross, aka Come What You Want, but you still call me broke, man. I'm back with another video for y'all, man. Listen, we'll be back off a of fresh weekend off Charlotte All Star Weekend. And um, honestly, I know I only brought y'all one video from All Star Weekend, but that's pretty much wrapped up everything. Um, this All Star Weekend did not have as much heat as was anticipated. Um, it was not like the LA trip and the New Orleans trip. I don't know what happened. Jordan Brand, I gotta say I'm disappointed. I really thought y'all was gonna bring the Bama because y'all was in Carolina, man. Jordan home state and you didn't do it. And it got me wondering, man, how Chicago will be next year. Because as we know, Chicago is the second home for Jordan. Um, but I think it should be dope. I mean, we got a lot of dope stores in, in Chicago, especially South Street. So, yo, if, if Chicago really don't bring that pressure next year, I'm gonna be disappointed, man. But um, overall, it was a good trip. I did a lot of marketing. It was good to see a couple of y'all out there. I did take pictures with a couple of subscribers. Um, so shout out to y'all, even the ones that came up to me, just to you know, show some love and talk with me real quick. I appreciate y'all. I forgot my man's name that I met at House of Hoop, um, but he told me that you know he'd be watching my videos and you know showing love. So shout out to you, bro. Um, sorry I forgot your name, man, but I remember your face. So if I see you again next year, I know exactly who you are, bro. But I'm coming to y'all with a little special thing that I picked up in Charlotte. You know what I'm saying? It was like a limited thing, so everybody ain't able to put their hands on it just yet. But I got it, man, and I want to do a view for y'all, man. So let's get straight to it, man. The Black Hornet SB Dunks, man. Now, what makes this one special is because, as you know, Black Sheep is a partner of Nike, and they've been one of the longest partners that they have. So they've had a couple of dope kicks that they put out. Um, I believe the Paid in Full Dunks were with them and the Wolf and Sheep Clothing ones as well. So I'm not too familiar with the Dunks. I'm getting familiar with them. So this is my first actual review of the Dunks. So I know this was going to be very special for y'all. So I was so excited to do this. But I actually got the, the uh, special packaging pair. So it was only like 800 that was given there. We had to get a band for it. And I got my pair. And you know what, y'all? Here's the secret. I got size 14. Yes, size 14. Size 14. They went up to a size 15. I started to buy all the size 14. Because y'all know they don't be showing size 14 or nothing. So when they said they had it and it was limited, give me all the size 14s. But as y'all know, it didn't work like that because they only gave you one per person. So let me just put that right there. We're going to get the other one out. Now, so. I want to show y'all both pairs, man. Here they are, them SB Black Hornets dunks, man. You know what I'm saying? Let me give y'all a proper introduction. You know what I'm saying? There we go. There we go. They go to the back of them. That's the front. So I want to break down the shoe one by one, man. So like I said, man, this is a limited one. Uh, so Black Sheep, the, the, the story behind this design is pretty much um, they showing homage to Charlotte. And as we know, Charlotte Hornets. So that's why you got the Black Hornets. And they took some of the color, they didn't go exactly with the Hornets colors, but they kind of mixed it in there a little bit. So I could tell where we get the Black Hornet vibe from, man. So just kind of looking at it, man, you got your auto sole, let's go with that, that teal, like translucent um, look. I, I love it, I love that teal color look. It's not as clear as the icy bottoms are, but I love this look, man. Um, then on your upper sole, you got your, you got your teal mixed in with your black. Now this is um, more like a suede almost. So it's like a suede a little bit, but I really don't know how to describe it too much. It's almost like it's leopard skin or, I don't know. It's, it's like a mixture between suede and a little bit of the tumber leather. Um, but that's just the feeling I got from it, man. Of course you got your leather, you got your teal leather. You got your black swoosh, which goes into like a very deeply stitched um, like silver, silver or gray kind of color on the end of the swoosh. Um, then it comes right back with that suede leopard print. I'm pretty sure it's not a leopard print, but that's the best way I can describe it. Um, on your back, you got that suede that continues to comes around. Um, a small pull tab, not too much room to do much. I think pretty much all the SBs come like this, so you really wouldn't expect anything else. Um, but I love how this, that black, this black sole right here, man, this is just dope, man. It's a, um, it's a nice, nice, deeply good color teal colorway. And as y'all know, well, y'all probably don't know, teal is my favorite color. 
So that's why I'm kind of like on the fence on whether keeping these shoes or selling them. Yes, I know I said I wouldn't sell any more of my shoes, but I really do like this one. So I actually, I actually may end up keeping this one here. Um, and then of course on your tongue, you just have your, it just says, you know, black sheep has the Nike SB logo. Um, of course you just got your black laces, but that's not all that goes with the shoe, man. This shoe has more in store and actually, it kind of looks like on the design, on the tongue there, maybe like prints of like a wasp nest. A little bit, you know how like the honeycomb look on the tongue. Um, and then you got your teal toe box. Um, and of course the suede go around the front. It's kind of different because this is more leather in the front and this is more suede. So this material is more suede and that's more leather. So anybody that has a pair, you can kind of check it out and see what I'm saying. But this was a special packaging. So like I said, this was only released in Charlotte. It was released at the actual store, Black Sheep. And I think y'all should have seen some footage of me there waiting in line to get a pair. But I want to show you some of the dope stuff that came with it. So I found this shoe, that box. It also came with this box, which has a special packaging. So we're going to open this up. We're going to open it. Just give me one moment. I don't have my lovely assistant helping me, so we got that. And we'll drop that. So, bomb! Look at that, man. You got your black hornet uh, honeycomb look. You know what I'm saying? It's very sophisticated. Um, it just looks so nice. This is a nice, nice little look. You know what I'm saying? You got your, your wall snatch. You got the whole gang on here. You know what I'm saying? That's Tito. That's John B. You know what I'm saying? That's uh, Uncle Elroy right there. You know what I'm saying? That little homie Charlie right there, you know what I'm saying? Everybody roll in the pack, you know what I'm saying? They go Teddy. You know you gotta have a squad with Teddy. Pookie and the rest of the cousins down here in the honeycomb, they eating up all the honey. So they got everything on there. Then on the back, you got your olive sole and the SB. Um, look a little minor 3M look, reflect look, look, the look a little bit on here, but like real glossy, I like that. Uh, so let's open this up. Someplace. There we go, all right. So. Comes with a little bag, you know what I'm saying? Got your little drawstring bag. Um, I like it. Got your Black Hornet on there. And I kind of like that name, the Black Hornet. That's kind of dope, man. Of course, you got your SB Nike collab with the Black Sheep. <clears throat> so, you get a basketball with it. You know what I'm saying? This might be good for like, if you got kids, you know what I'm saying? You do the little hoop, but yeah. So you got that. Then, let's see what else is in the goodie bag. You got your laces. All right, so we got our Black Hornet Stinger Lace Pack. Now this, I don't know if you can see it real good, but this right here, so this shoe string has the actual Hornets on it, the Black Hornets. This goes more with the color of the shoe, the pattern, and then this right here is just like a yellow and black pattern, just like the other shoelaces, but I'm, I really wanna see what this one looks like in the shoe. Cause this is more like a yellow and black and then you mix it with that teal and black. It seems like it may clash, but I don't know, man. We, you know, it's different styles, but every, you know, you know, it's just whatever you want, man. You know, you want to add your little flavor to it, make yours different than everybody else on. I may actually put, if I decide to keep these, put the Hornet laces in that and see how they rock, man. But um, that's the extra laces. So it come with three extra pairs of laces in the special packaging. Um, what we got here? Honeycomb lace locked, so. This is actually the, ooh, okay. I like this right here. Yeah, I'm feeling this. So there your honeycomb lace locks coming in a dope little packaging. Um, and of course on the back you got fully laced. So this one came with a collab with fully laced and black sheet. So I like this one. <clears throat> and then, I don't even know what this is. I guess this is like a signature card. Um, yeah, so actually I think this goes with, uh, I got some paintings to show y'all, or some drawings that my guy did. And I think this is actually his, Wally V. So he actually designed this, and I'm gonna show y'all. I wish I had this card, but I had this card somewhere. But yes, this was created by Wally V. Um, so that's just a card, you know, showing the black sheep, and it has the, the black hornet. They should come out with a Marvel movie or something like that. Maybe it is, it is already a Marvel character, and I just don't know. Forgive me if it is. And then last but not least, you got your SB sticker. Uh, you know, you throw these on 
your sound system or your laptop, whatever you want. So that all that comes with that special packaging. But for the most part, like I said, the shoe is very dope. Um, whether I'm going to keep it, I don't know. Um, this is actually my first pair of SB Dunks. Um, so I may keep it, you know what I'm saying? My first pair of Dunks, man. Like I said, these are going for resale pretty good. I think right now they go for like 500. But I may keep them in the stash. But y'all let me know in the comments section, should I keep them or y'all think I should just pass on them? I was looking for the card, but I want to show y'all these, these drawings that Wally did and he did sign them for me. So this is the first one. Now this one is the paid in full dunks. As y'all know, this was release was canceled and it's rumored that it was canceled because where the SB is at, it looks similar to Gucci. So I'm thinking they canceled that because they didn't want to get like any copyright infringements or anything like that on the actual shoe. But that's the first one he did. Um, and you can see that. The boy Wallaby, V. And I'm gonna put his IG um, page in the in the description. So that one's close to sign the Flight Academy kicks. Shout out to him for that. And this one right here is the Wolf and Sheep Clothing SB Dunks. Um, this was a dope one, and I actually may go back and get this one. If I decide to keep that dunk and start a dunk collection, I may go back and get this one because I like this one. But this was the drawing that he did for this one. And I like this one. And then of course, the finale is this right here. This is your Black Hornet painting. I'm gonna show you this one right here. Um, so the whole Black Hornet setup with the Hornet design. Um, that's the Hornet man. If y'all ain't know, that's the Hornet man. Uh, that's his whole squad with him. I think that's Uncle Charlie right there. But uh, yeah, man, so that's the whole drawing the illustration did. But this is actually dope, man. Very, very, very dope, man. So I like them a lot, man. So let me know what y'all think about these, man. Um, let me know what y'all think about the shoes. Is it something that you're gonna cop? I think it does actually drop on the app, I think like next week on the sneak app, but not the special packaging. This was just strictly from um, Charlotte from Black Sheep. So let me know what y'all think. Like I said, I may keep them, I may not. I may sell them as a size 14. Let me know in the comment section what y'all think. Are y'all feeling it? Are y'all gonna cop? What y'all thought about the, the drawings that he did? And a funny story about the drawings. So the drawings were four for 40. But a guy told me, my cousin, y'all know my cousin, Urban Soul, make sure y'all follow him on IG as well as on Instagram. Make sure you subscribe to his page, Urban underscore Souls with a Z at the end, S-O-L-E-Z. So me and him were in there and we said, you know what, we're gonna support him and buy these drawings. The guy said, well, if both y'all get them, I'll give y'all five for 40. So I actually ended up beating my cousin in rock, paper, scissors form. And I'm gonna put that in the video as well with this, um, with this review. So you'll see that in this video. I, I throw it in there so y'all can see what we caught it from and everything. Cause I don't think I dropped it in the, in the day two video. But that wraps up everything for us. Like I said, Charlotte was good. Um, I was a little disappointed. It wasn't a lot of heat that was dropped, but hey, it is what it is, man. We're gonna keep going and keep moving forward. Appreciate y'all for watching me. Make sure y'all subscribe to my channel. Tell a friend to tell a friend, man. We the hottest thing on YouTube right now. We growing so quickly, man. So I appreciate all the love and support for my subscribers, man. 5K before May, man. We still on that march, man. We trying to get it. SneakerCon Cleveland is come up, so y'all stay tuned. Y'all know how we rocking. And I got some more reviews coming for y'all this week. So stay tuned with me. But I am gonna throw the video in here so you'll see uh, the rock, paper, scissors match between me and my cousin and how he lost because I'm big cuzzo, you know how I do. Um, but until next time, man, make sure y'all subscribe to the channel. Take flight with the flies, and if you ain't flying with me, you just ain't flying right, and we out. That's the shot, man. Uh, that's the shot, bro. Uh, what's up, bro? Black sheep getting these uh, SBs. And my guy here, shot your page out, bro. So he got these dope paintings right here for the SB. And me and Josh are about to get five, but we'll know how to split the third one. So we're about to do a classic game of rock, paper, scissors. So 
y'all about to see this. We good. So from one to three, shoot. Ah. Let me get it. <laughs> no best out of three. No best out of three. Big Cuz always win. Big Cuz deal, man. Make sure y'all follow my guy. This work is dope, man. For real. Appreciate it. Appreciate it.